Hello friends, welcome to Sylvania exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, soil mechanics in the topic of slope stability. So the problem is a canal is to be excavated in the depth of 6 meter below the ground level through the soil having the following characteristics. So now the cohesion equal to 15 kN per meter square, then angle of internal friction phi equal to 20 degree, then E void ratio equal to 0 0.9 and G equal to specific gravity 2.67. So then the slope of the bank is 1 in 1, so that is the I value, so that is 45 degree. So determine the factor of safety with respect to the cohesion when the canal runs full. So this is the first question, so we have to solve. Then what will be the factor of safety if the canal is rapidly emptied completely? So this is the second question. So we have to find out the uh, factor of safety FOS value in the canal running full and the second one is downstream side. So now uh, the given values. We can write the given values over here. So depth, the thickness of layer, so H is equal to 6 meter. Then C equal to 15 cohesion, 15 kilometer per meter square. Then E equal to Y ratio is 0 0.9. Then specific gravity G equal to 2.67. Then I value slope equal to 1 in 1. So that denotes uh, 45 degree. Then phi angle of internal friction phi equal to 20 degree. So we need to calculate the FOS value, so that factor of safety value uh, from the two conditions. So first condition, uh, the canal runs full. So we know the formula when canal runs full, the FOS value, uh, FOS equal to C divided by gamma dash H into SN. So Sn is the stability number, so Taylor stability number. So we need to calculate all the values, so C value uh, that is given, then gamma dash value that is uh, not given, so we have to find out, then H value is given, then stability number uh, we can take from the chart. So now uh, gamma equal to, so we know the formula G plus E into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. So because the gamma saturation, so the G value is 2.67 that is given plus E value is uh, 0 0.9 that is also given into 9.81. So unit weight of water is equal to 9.81, 9 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.9. So now the value is 18.91 uh, kilo newton per meter cube. So from that we can calculate the gamma dash value. So now gamma dash equal to gamma saturation minus gamma W. So gamma saturation equal to 18.91 minus the gamma W is equal to 9.81. So from that we can uh, we know the uh, we know the value 9.10 kilo newton per meter cube. So for this condition, Sn value we can take from the table uh, 0 0.083. So we can substitute all the values over here. So C equal to 15 kilonton per meter square divided by gamma dash equal to 9.10 into H value 6 into Sn value uh, we take from the graph uh, 0 0.83. Okay, so solving this we got the value of 3. Point 3, 1. So this is the factor of safety uh, when the canal running is full. Okay, so this is the first question answer. So second question for downstream side. So that is the canal is rapidly emptied completely. So we know the formula uh, F phi equal to 1. So we know mobilized friction equal to phi. So from that uh, we know the formula. Uh, F O S equal to C divided by gamma saturation into H into S N value. So now we have to find out uh, phi M value. So phi M equal to gamma dash divided by gamma saturation into phi we know. So now gamma saturation equal to 9.10 then sorry gamma dash equal to 9.10 then gamma saturation equal to 18.90 uh, then into phi value is given that, that is 20 so now solving this we got the value of uh, phi m equal to 9.6 okay 
so now uh, i equal to 45 degree then phi m equal to uh, 9.6 degree for that condition uh, the sn value equal to 0 0.130 so this is the uh, taylor stability number for the condition of i equal to 45 degree and phi m equal to 9.6 so we can substitute all the values over here so then fos f equal to c equal to 15 that is uh, given divided by gamma saturation values uh, 18.91 into h values uh, again 6 into sn values 0 0.130 so now f equal to so we know the uh, so we can get the value of g, uh, 1.01 so this is a factor of safety in downstream side that is a uh, canal emptied completely so this is the method we can solve the slope stability problem again we will see in next video thank you